Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to our English class. Do you often discuss with your friends what someone said? Do you often report your parents what your teacher told you? When you do it, you use reported speech. You tell another person about a conversation that took place in the past. So, today we are going to speak about general rules of transforming direct affirmative and negative sentences into the reported statements. You will also learn about reporting verbs. These verbs usually help us to describe accurately someone's words. Let's start! Let me remind you, reported speech can be given in reported statements, reported questions, orders and requests. Today we are going to discuss reported statements. These are affirmative and negative sentences. When you report about someone's words, check if you have to change verb tense, pronouns, adverbs of time and place or demonstrative pronouns. Here are some examples of reported speech. Look carefully at the changes made. David said, I saw her yesterday. David said he had seen her the day before. You can see some changes in the sentence. Pronoun I changes to he. Past simple of the verb saw changes to had seen. Past perfect tense. The adverb of time, yesterday, changes to the day before. One more example. They said we are not eating now. They said they were not eating then. Pronoun we becomes they. Present continuous are not eating becomes past continuous. We're not eating. Past continuous. Adverb of time now becomes them. You can use that in these sentences or give reported speech without it. David said that he had seen her the day before or David said he had seen her the day before. They said that they were not eating then, or they said they were not eating then. Don't you think it is boring to say he said, she said, over and over again? Fortunately, there are a lot of reporting verbs in English. Reporting verbs can express either what a person feels, person's points of view or what you think about his or her words, your point of view to his or her words. To report someone's words accurately, you will need to use a verb with the correct sense of meaning. The most common reporting verbs are say and tell. They have similar meanings. They both mean communicate verbally with someone, but we use them differently. We say something. She said she was tired, but we tell someone something. She told him she was tired. We sometimes use say to someone. She said to him she was tired. There is an exercise for you. Put said or told in the sentence and check your answer.
she told me she loved John. They said they were happy. He told everybody he had to leave. Anne told me her brother was buying a car. Alice said to Mike he was wearing a nice suit. She said it was raining. Lisa told me she would call at 2 p.m. There are sentences in reported speech. Please rewrite them in direct speech and check your answers. Dave said, I was playing tennis from 3 to 5 p.m. yesterday. He told us, my mother has called me today. She said, Ken doesn't want to do this exercise. Mary told her father, I'll be late tonight. Jim said, I gave her this book two days ago. There are a lot of reporting verbs instead of say and tell. But you must remember that the structure of the sentence you are reporting can change and it depends on the reporting verb. Let's look at the table. Here are the examples of the reporting verbs and some patterns to use them. The first pattern is reporting verb plus that clause. This is the same as with the verb say. Agree. She said, I will marry you. She agreed that she would marry him. Decide. John said, I will see him on Sunday. John decided that he would see him on Sunday. Explain. The teacher said, this is the rule of sequence of tenses. The teacher explained that was the rule of sequence of tenses. Promise. David said, I will take you to the station. David promised that he would take me to the station. The next pattern is different. You do not need to use sequence of tenses rule. Use infinitive after the reporting verb. But be careful with the pronouns. Notice that a number of verbs can take more than one form. Agree. She said, I will marry you. She agreed to marry him. Decide. John said, I will see him on Sunday. John decided to see him on Sunday. Promise. David said, I will take you to the station. David promised to take me to the station. Offer. Camilla said, let's go to the cinema. Camilla offered to go to the cinema. Refuse. He said, I don't want to go with you. He refused to go with me. You will learn more patterns at the lesson about orders and requests in reported speech. Now let's practice to transform the sentences from direct into reported speech. Fill in the gaps using the verbs from the box. I promise I'll take you to Prague, said Mary. Mary promised to take me to Prague. I'm not going to do it, she said. She refused to do it. Would you like some tea, she said.
she offered to have a cup of tea. Greece. Yes, it was a great film. Chris agreed that the film had been great. Angela said, I'll be an architect. Angela decided she would be an architect. Tom said, I am late because I missed the bus. Tom explained that he was late because he had missed the bus. That's all for today. The lesson is over. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye. When the reporting verb is in the past simple tense, the verbs in the reported statement usually go one step backwards. But there are some rules when you can keep the verbs in reported speech in present. The reporting verb is in the simple present, present perfect or future. He says, I am glad to see you. He says, he is glad to see me. The reporting facts are still true. The teacher said the earth goes round the sun.